Hey guys, welcome back. This is part two of my one-fifth scale RC stand build. If you didn't see part one, make sure to go back and check that out. I go over all the parts and pieces and what we had to do to modify them to get them ready to put together. So with that being said, let's go ahead with part two. Let's get these pieces put together and let's see how functional the final product is. All right, now we got our piece all drilled. We can put our access on here. Now here's the pin with the cotter key lock and the paper. The paper says neutral pin. Use the 316 pin can be used when no movement is wanted. So I imagine they're talking about swivel movement this way because that pin inserted through here and locked on the other side like this stops this from spinning as you can see so that's what the pins for all right so we're all uh looks like we're all good now we can put this uh stand together piece goes like this and this is just a locking ring that I took off of here a little plastic to stop it from stops it from pulling up out of here so this goes take this pin off right here our fixture out, your mounts up, like so, it's got to be like perfect. pins a little tight so we're just going to tap the grill that thing being brand new and painted that pins a little tight so and this just locks it and there you have it There you have it guys. RC workstation. One fifth scale. Using the access swivel mount. Now you loosen up this bolt um, to allow this to swivel. This will swivel this way and this way. And this is your this is your lock for the stand once you get your HPI or clone Baja up here. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, there's the finished stand. On there, let's go ahead and get uh, get my King Motors 5B clone out here, and it's mounted up, and let's uh, see how everything works and how stable it is. Four mounting clamps that go around the frame here, chassis, and then you use this to, uh, it draws these back ones in and tightens it up on here, so loosen this up, throw this up there, looks like about the right spot, and you just crank it down tight.
All right. There it is on the stand. As you can see, seems to be pretty stable. It's, uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Now I have the pin down here in, so you can't turn it. Actually, it's turning here because this is not tight, so we'll tighten this up. Now you can't turn it. Now you should be able to swivel. And there it is, swivel it so you can work on it like this, or swivel it like that to get back underneath. It's not tipping over, and if it did, it's a little. You just spread this base out just a little more. It was a little tipsy, just a tad, so I'm going to go ahead and spread that base out. I have it pretty, uh, it goes out a lot further, so we'll go ahead and spread that out. I don't know guys, pretty happy with it. Works great. Swivel piece works great. Like I said, you gotta be a little careful with it so you don't tip it over. Um, I'm not sure about the axis stand, how easy that would be to tip over or not, but if I ever do decide to get an axis stand, I already have these chassis plate and the swivel piece, so but for a cheap $25, $26 stand, free shipping. This might be a solution for you. I don't know. You know, leave me a comment below what you guys think about this. Um, this is a little lighter than a 5T would be, so I'm going to get a 5T plate, and uh, I'll have to come back and revisit how stable it is. But this is pretty good. I'm uh, I'm really happy with this. This is really going to work out great for me. Maybe this is something for you. I don't know, but um, yeah, let me know what you think and. Um, Time now to finally get this thing modded. It's got a lot of, uh, this was a roller, King Motors roller. So it comes to no electronics, you know, no engine, nothing like that. So I have all that stuff and some upgrade parts to put in this. So I can't wait to get, uh, get to doing that. So, all right, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. My poor man's one fifth scale, uh, maintenance stand. So let me know what you think, like I said below. And, um, I'll see y'all soon on the next video. So long.